Hi, my name is Jared Novak, and in this video series, I'm gonna show you how to get up and running with Timber. Timber is a plugin for WordPress that helps you create fully customized themes faster with cleaner, better structured code. It started as an open source project here at Upstatement, a creative agency that I've co-founded in 2008. These tutorials are for any designer or developer who's looking for a better way to build modern websites using WordPress. We'll cover everything from downloading and your first steps with Timber, all the way up to custom fields, custom post types, and implementing your own custom classes. To show all this, we'll be building an actual site called Boston Built, a directory of digital creative companies in Boston where we're based. All right, enough talk. Let's get started with Timber. All right, welcome to the first video in the, uh, Getting Started with Timber series. Uh, today, I'm gonna show how to download uh, Timber and the very, very basics of getting things set up. So to start off, um, we are looking at a big fat hello world um, website. If you look inside of the index.php file, you can see um, all it is doing is outputting that string. So let's start by installing Timber from wordpress.org. I'm gonna to go to my plugins page and hit add new. Let's search for Timber. And the one you want is this guy down here with the green tree. So install that and activate. And there we go. So now if I refresh my homepage, you will see absolutely nothing has changed. And that's because we actually need to work inside of our theme to create some twig files that Timber will render. So let's go back here and I'm gonna create a new file and save that. So I have this blank theme, which you can see is ridiculously thin. It just has functions, index, and style.css. Create a new folder, call it views. And inside of here, let's call this index.twig. All right. So inside of index.twig, let's put a message in here that just says, uh, hello world from index.twig. All right. So if we want this to actually show up, we just need to go back to our index.php and call timber, double colon render, index.twig. So that's going to find this file inside of the views directory, which is the default name for that, um, and render it out. So let's refresh and there we go. So we know that that is working. All right, so at this point, we have a twig file going, but we're not really using twig um, to any benefit. We, we really want to see these variables um, be used. So let's, instead of storing this message directly in our template, let's have that come from PHP. So over in our PHP file, I'm going to create a new variable called context. Set that equal to an array. Inside of that array, let's make a property called message. And I'm going to set that equal to a string that says, I am a message from PHP. So message is the name of the variable that twig will be handling. So inside of twig, to use a variable, um, let's make this a h1 tag. I'm just going to do brace brace message and then end h1. So it is going to take whatever message I send and put it inside of this h1 tag. So to connect these two, the last thing that we have to do is just put our context variable that we created here um, into our timber render. So index.twig is the name of the template and the data that it's going to receive is called context. Move that over a little bit. So now when I go back to Chrome and hit refresh, hey, we know that that is coming across in the PHP file. So you are not limited to just one um, variable, you can have infinite. So let's add another just to show that real quick. So I'm going to do context, it's called random, is equal to rand, and let's make that one through. And inside of here, I'm gonna make an h2 tag, and we now have a random variable. And there you go. So every time I refresh, um, the browser is hitting that PHP file, regenerating that random number, and sending it over into Twig for display. So those are the very, very basics of Timber and Twig. Um, in the next video, I'm going to talk about actually starting to build a new website.